Devine. In the Canterbury Rodeo flag, Crystal Jennings. Give them a round of applause, they make their way around the arena today. Rodeo action coming to your way for 2024. Well, rodeo fans, I'd like you ask to please rise and remove cover, firstly for the Cowboys' prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, we pause at this time mindful of many blessings you bestowed upon us. We ask, Lord, that you be with us in this arena. The Canterbury Rodeo is back in town. Introducing my co-announcer here today, Mr. John O'Reed. How you going, John O? I'm going real good, thanks, here, Wally. Hey, uh, one thing I'd just like to say is, what a day, what a crowd, and you're about to see some unbelievable... Our first event on the program, the second division bareback, brought to us by Frame, Grain and Seed, bringing us this one. And then we'll move to the big event of the open bareback riding. That'll be our first two to get the party started here on our Saturday afternoon here at Canterbury. Come on, Canterbury, keep your hands a clap and the beat of the music, come on. Get some rhythm in the house. All right, we're going to go to John Hughes, the wiry, feely cowboy that can stick it on one too. Johnny Hughes comes in the number three spot here today. The two times bareback riding champion. We're going to move to the open event straight up and let's watch the man right now. Come on, Johnny. See those feet flying. Spur the lane. Lift and spur. Help him, Canterbury. All right, safely to the ground. That boy, Johnny. Give the crowd away, buddy. So we're going to go to the judges here. Same applies as earlier. We're going to have 50 points for the rider. And 50 12 times he's been a national finalist. And last year he achieved the achievement that he wanted his whole life. He wanted at Wakawaiiti. He wanted at Wanaka. And he's here today. Let's ride with Ross Dowling. Come on now, Ross. Getting those feet going. I'll tell you what. Now the family man. I mean, who am I to say? He might have stacked on a couple of kicks, but he's handling himself well. Back riding 2024. We're getting quiet out there, Canterbury. Make some noise right now. All right, making those final adjustments here, Brett McCorkendale. The big strong bay, settling himself in there. Tucks himself up under the rigging. Gives a fearsome sort of a nod and outside. Oh, I see why he's been winning too, but there's a bucker. What do you say, Cowrie? Pick him up out of the dirt. You have to tip your hand to a horse like that. Well, he was first at Miller's flat, he was first at O'Marriman. Let's ride one, Reese. let's get there. And a boy, Reese. Look at him get those feet going, front to back. Bit of style there, took the power away from the horse. Rode the big chest up with a boot cannon. The man that makes his home at Cromwell. Two times he's been a national finalist in the bareback riding. Ended up eighth this past season, the 2021 rookie champion in the bareback riding world. Hasn't yet won a check here on the circuit, but today's a new day, $1,200 in added money. They're riding for one of the biggest payout rodeos in New Zealand as right now. Get it done there, Clayton. Yeah, Clayton's just really reefing that hand through. 
takes a fair bit of work and to get your hand in there. These boys don't mean for it to come out, so it's there to stay. Come on, Bucky. Climbs up there, nods his head. Outside. And a good look, Bay. Two good head of action. Hang in there, Bucky. Oh, to the judges. I think it looks good. Come on, as he steps out, make him feel welcome today, the man from Drumble. Same again, he's got to make it look like a dance. The three times national finalist straps himself, sits down in the international saddle. And when the gate cracks, you've got to get loud for him today. They're Canterbury, one of our open bronc riders. Ride, cowboy, ride. Hard mark out, front to back to the candle of the saddle. That's how you get the big points in the bronc riding world. And let's Odds ride again. Outside, he says. The big grey to storm there. Wait for the bomb to explode. Come on, Paul. Oh, caught him napping. Down to the ground. That's a good horse too, isn't it? How about the horse? Yeah, now, give him a round of applause. The number four bronc rider in the land goes to ground. The man from the North Island. Sneaking down into the shoots on a tough one. Here goes Jerry. And goes to work. Front to back. Here he goes. See those feet to the front of the shoulder, to the back. Hang it in there. That horse gave it to him, but Jerry comes up top. What do, what do you say? Give him a round of applause. Today. He was a runner-up champion last season. This guy can ride. Let's do it, Johnson. Oh, come on. Get behind him, Canterbury. Look at him lift and spur. And boy, Johnny. Keep going, mate. Judges like it. Give him the thumbs up. He's there for the eight. like a suitcase handle but it's rigid and you drive your hand in the air with a leather glove covered in rosin so it's sticky she really is a suicide event and these guys once they get addicted to it they just can't give it away as our cowboy puts his hand in the suitcase handle here today saturday afternoon live here at the mandeville sports ground we're about to ride a number one today. We're going to get loud for this cowboy Canterbury. Let us hear you right now. As he snugs himself down against that bareback Griggin, lifts on his arm, squeezes. He's got to get those feet high up in the neck. Here he goes. Come on, Chris. And tidy, isn't he? Look at him go. Little cowboy lift and spur across here. What a great ride. What do you say, Canterbury? Put your hands together. What a great ride from the yeah. outside. Rookie Cowboy gets it done as he steps down on the ground. Let's make some noise for him, Canary. So the comp before, and the next man out also falls under the same batter, Cody Walker. Well, he's only a newcomer in the sport of airback riding. Looking for his first ever check ever in the world of rodeo. He's a Hemna Springs second division bareback rider here today. Have we got anyone going to make noise for a Hemna Springs cowboy? As he 
puts his hand in the suitcase handle to be back riding. The most physical event in the world, the rodeo. They must have, hold the, have a mark out ruling, must be hitting the front of the shoulders each and every jump he hits the ground. This is a tough event on the body. And we're about to watch our next kid ride right now. Out he comes. Cody hanging in there. He's got a nice little horse popping across the arena there. Plenty of timing. Same again, takes the safe way out, unfortunately. Cowboy grabs down, saves himself, it's no score. Well, as he steps down, make him feel welcome today, Canterbury. Show him that you appreciate him coming today. Patient bareback rider. He's a crossbred New Zealand Canadian cowboy. His dad was one of the all-time great bareback riders in Canada. Let's ride with him right now. Oh, and got a bucket too. Look at that nice horse just surfing around there. Unfortunately, cowboy reaches down, grabs the rigging, pulls the ripcord. We'll hopefully pull on the ripcord as we speak. If you can, done anything possible in New Zealand rodeo, the guy is a complete champion. Rex Church, 53 years of age. He sits number one for the standings once again, aiming to win his ninth bareback riding title at the NZRCA. He was second at Winchester, first at Rudahi, first at Millers Flat, Flat, first at Wakawaii. Let's watch the man. He steps down, make you feel welcome for a legend of the sport, 53. Runner up rookie champion in 2020. He was second at Miller's Flat, third at Tiano. The Cromwell Bareback Riders in the house today. Who's going to make some noise for Ethan McRamara? All right, come on, Ethan. Those feet up nice and high in the main. grabs down early as it puts him down to the ground. Give him a hand, ladies and gents. Let's move down next matchup. A little bit of Paradise City in the background today. So the man that's wedging his hand into the lever handhold is Stu DeRitter. The man that sits number five on the standings. The 2016 bareback riding champion in New Zealand. He was a rookie champion in 2010. So far this season, he was second at Winchester. He won the event at O'Marama, a champion in the arena from Har Warden Cowboy. Who's ready to watch a champion once again? This guy is a tough, wily veteran. Here he goes. Come on, Stewie. Toes are turned east and west. Spoon lifting. Bucket two, hang in there, Stu. There's the horn, hangs in there. Give him a hand. That is why he's a 2016 bareback riding champion, a bit from the sport. As he lands on the ground, let's give it up to him. Give it up to him. Betty, let's get one rope right here. Go for number one. Entertain Canterbury here on our Saturday afternoon. All right, come on, Ben. Getting himself down the arena there. Now down the rope. Looking good. Come on, Benny. Wrap him up. Atta boy. And he makes his way back down. To... All right, Mike. Looks like he's got him too. Down the rope he goes, got to flank him, put his little pick and string on the front leg, two wraps, and we got him! Well that's why the 20 times national finalist getting the job done, let's make some noise for him today, Canary. No, he is flagged away, will be 
in no time. So, a little bit of pick me up there for Michael Sanderson. That'll be no time, no money today. Great, skillful, talented cowboy from Fairley, Andrew Jameson. Come on, Jamo. Off his horse, he's got a good catch, got to get down the rope, get a hold of that sprightly little calf. Grabs him, wraps him up. Good on Endo. That's a really good run there from Endo. He's just waiting on that nod. Making sure everything's standing right. Come on, Gay Cameron, the Wanaka Cow Cowboy. Let's go ride right now. Come on, Canterbury. And sitting up there pretty, Gay Cameron. I tell you what, this bull's really getting it. See that sort of little big tail bull almost look like you want the two. the motion, make sure that bull's standing right. And let's ride right now. Just have take, take a slow gait. Let's, he's really cowboyed up here. Come on, Oscar. It is urged to ride him. I say, get behind him, ladies and gents. Really trying hard. Oh, good cowboy. <laughs> well done, Oscar. It's not every day you get jumped on the back by a 650. Outside he calls. Come on, Finn. I tell you what, these little balls are bucking here today. And trying hard. That's going to be close. We'll have to go to the judges. Thumbs up, round of applause please, well done Finn. Goes from the famous Christ College of all places. Who would have thought a bull rider would have come from Christ College? There you go. He slides up in the bull road. Let's give it 110% and let's ride with him today. Come on Ricky. Stay in the middle of the one. I reckon he's going to do it. We are so ladies and gents. Another top five ride for Ricky. And the bull started with a really strong sort of start. And the stout little guy getting across the arena. Very, very tidy start to a bull ride. See the control he's got. As I talked about earlier too, you want that bull to start making rounds. And I think here we've got Bo Armstrong by the look of the champs. I tell you what, sit pretty, does not move an inch to work and ride. And a boy, Bo. Come on, Angus, gets out there nicely. Come on, buddy. Sling that nylon round, throws it. It's good. Very, very. Let's rodeo again. Here she goes. Come on, Anna. A little calf, got a bit of pace on. Got him. I'd say got him. So the judges agree, yes they do. That was pretty speedy, I'd say. Reset, let's go run on the course right now. Round that first one. Looks good around the second. And time to come alive, Canary. Come oh, on. Oh, no. I spoke too soon. We'll be a plus five out of their time. But a round of applause for our cow girl. Race and stick on the wind. The bank, the bend. Oh, that was It's that first barrel right now. Come on, cowgirl. Young Sky Lamborn, around the second we go. And let's make some noise for it today, rodeo fans. Sky Lamborn. First at O'Marama, first at Wanaka. She wants to be a rookie champion this season. And watch this one, riding a great horse called Rock. Around the first we go. Round the second. Come on, Libby. Brought us by Long Gully Station. She heads that top drum and let's come alive for one again, Cowboy. Today, Cowgirl.
Second generation talent. Nice job around the first, we bring it around the second. And we head to that top drum, Canterbury, come alive. That'll be just outside the top four. With the Nice job there, Elsie. Heads around that second one. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit of support for the little cowgirl. And when we get to that top drum, we're going to go in overdrive and cheer her on today. And let's go home.